Hey guys, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. So what you're going to be listening to is an interview I had with CEO of Thimble.io, Oscar Pedroso. So we're discussing exactly what Thimble.io is. It's a pretty cool uh, website that I just came across last week. This website sends you monthly packages like many other websites do with they send you a bunch of swag, but these guys actually send you something you can use and you can learn from. So every month they send you different packages to teach you how to code, how to build devices. They even have contests for hacking. They have do-it-yourself electronic kits, so many different things. And again, all things you can learn from, which is great for you yourself, your wife or your husband, significant other, your son or your daughter, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you know, anybody. It's it's very cool stuff, but soon I'll be getting my own monthly kit and I'll be doing reviews and I'll be doing YouTube videos as you always see. But anyway, let's get to the interview real quick. I like to, especially when I start working with someone and then especially for the review, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing unboxing if everything works out with us. At least for the first one, depending on the rest, I'm going to be doing uh, written reviews on dragonblogger.com as well. So, yeah, that sounds really funny, by the way. Great, I think great. you're like probably the first one. Um, cause we've, we've been thinking about unboxing videos for a little bit. Okay. So we know they're pretty popular for some of the subscription boxes out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. Sorry, I'm just uh, a new piece of equipment that I got to review. I'm actually doing the recording on Avermedia, the Aegis recording. It seems pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, just playing with that. But so so yeah. Um, well, where um how where did you come up with the idea for this? It's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, we David and I, we were teaching workshops, electronics workshops, uh, a couple of years ago um, at various maker spaces and libraries and schools, and we had a lot of people that come up to us after class and express a lot of interest in learning. And I, and the the big hassle for people when they when they're first getting into the space is that they they need the right they need the right project ideas. I don't think they necessarily have a roadmap to get started. Right. Um, and, and then they don't really know too much about components. Uh, so that that's uh, something else. Like a lot of people were going on AliExpress and eBay and Radio Shack. And, uh, <laughs> and then on top of that, too, you actually need to know have the know-how to assemble everything. So Right. We were, we were trying to think of a way to make it easier for beginners, and we saw what Adafruit and SparkFun were doing, but... We weren't convinced that that would, that they were really, um, really trying to help beginners, you know, that step-by-step -step process, you know, from point A to point B on finishing a project. And then when you're done with it, trying to figure out what the next project should be. Oh, I, I... And so we just, so we decided to, you know, we thought, okay, if they could do, if they could do, um, Subscription boxes for lipstick and makeup. I'm sure we could do ones for electronics and education. And so that's how it started. And my background's in education. So I, I worked at an engineering school for a few years in admissions. And that's kind of how I got started. And that was like about 10 years ago. And we've been playing with electronics ever since we were kids. So yeah, you and me both. Sense. Yeah. That's very cool. Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, these type of, of things that you you uh, you pay 30, 40, 50 bucks a month uh, or more, of course, and like Geekbox and a few others that they just send you, you know, a bunch of swag, which is cool, but mm -hmm. it ends up becoming clutter. And then in my, the way I see it, and mind you, I'm not saying this is the way everybody does it. But after a while, you just start building up clutter. Yeah. 
maybe I, out of those ten things, you might like two of those, and the other eight you're just holding on to just because you paid for it. Or yeah. Craigslist or eBay or who knows. But So then I, I was looking around, and last, last night or, or two nights ago, I think it was last night, as I mentioned, I have a horrible memory. Um, two nights ago, or, or last night, I, I came across Thimble.io. I'm like, you know what, that's pretty cool. Not only am I getting something cool, or maybe that month is not the coolest, but I get to learn on it. And on top of that, it's not just for me. It's, uh, this is learning, so this might be something good for my kids. Um, as I mentioned, I have a, a 10-year-old boy and a, a Xavier and a, a 7-year-old girl, Tori. And Tori, maybe she's not as into it as and motivated as Xavier. Um, you know, Xavier is pretty much interested in anything I am, so that's that's cool there. But the the whole and and I saw it on your website too. There's a kind of a competition contest type thing as well. And being that they would both uh, potentially have a box, that might bring up some competition in between both of them, and allowing them to build up bigger and better. So for people that might have two or three kids, this might be even better. To get them motivated and i saw that you have um, a bunch of different plans for somebody that just wants to do a month 90 bucks for somebody that wants to do it a month every month 60 dollars a month which if it were something like a uh, geek box or something i don't know their pricing structure i i know we've worked with them before not me personally <coughs> justin you know the founder of dragon blogger has i always see it and it's kind of jealous because they're kind of cool things but Again, you know, the whole clutter thing. But this might actually be a pretty cool thing. Yeah, definitely. You know, for the clutter thing, actually, um, you know, we thought of it this way. We were sort of helping people create their own little mini lab at home uh, or their own little mini maker space where they have the tools and then all these projects with the components, different development boards. Um, and, the, and the cool thing, too, is that, like, our first kit, for example, is a Wi-Fi robot. Um, if you want it, like people, you don't have to necessarily build the robot. You could probably have, create your own gadget out of the components. Right. Um, and and I think that's a really cool thing too. Is that when you're done building them, you can continue adding on to them. You know, if you want to add a ultrasonic sensor, if you want to add speed encoders, I think that's where the contest is, is cool because then you end up with so many variations of the same project. Um, obviously, at the bare minimum, you'll at least have the actual robot created, but who knows, you know, maybe that it becomes something more complex and right, right, maybe right. some cool invention comes out of it. I'm not, you know, I'm not too sure, but I think the motivation for people too is uh, learning the different skills involved in electronics so that they can go on and, and create their own projects to solve their own problems, whether it be, you know, home automation devices or you know, LED devices, different kinds of things with functions, different functions. No, of course. Um, I remember when I was a kid, um, my mom's husband uh, got me uh, a, a Robbie Jr. I don't know if, if you ever uh, heard of those, but it's... Oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yes, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, mind you, I was a kid, but I thought, this has so many possibilities. I, I, I don't remember how old I was, but I was probably 9 or 10 or 11. Um Maybe it was, uh, either way. And then I'm like, you know, it came with a little tray so you can put things onto him. And I thought, mind you, even as a little kid, I was always interested in electronics. And I'm like, well, this is perfect. I don't need to get up anymore and go to the kitchen. I just asked my grandma to put something on the tray and just memorize everything. This was before we had cameras everywhere. And you know what I did? I memorized the course and the very first time it worked, I had her put a, a glass of orange juice on the tray and it brought it all the way to me because I kept pressing forward, back, left, right. But that just got me so interested. It, I think Robbie Jr. is what started me just with my passion of technology. It, it's always a little thing, it seems, in, in everybody's story on how they got started on, you know, either building a business or any kind of uh, interest starts with something really tiny and explodes, you know, depending on your your want and willingness 
to make it explode. Yeah, you know, I really like that because uh, I'm sure you're familiar with heat kits, right? Do you, are you familiar with those by chance? Uh, no, actually, I'm not. Um, so heat kits were kind of like the subscription kit back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. But instead of building um, some of the cooler gadgets these days, uh, you were building projects more along the lines of like computers, amplifiers, radios, um, like parts of different TVs as well. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and and they, they actually did really well, and then they died off during the 80s, and whenever we meet anybody uh, at Maker Fairs or similar events, people offer, often coin us as the Heath Kit of the 21st century. Yeah. It is cool. Um, that's very cool. The instructions, um, I think they came with instructions. Our instructions are going to be online. Um, so that, because you know, we, we plan to do a few video tutorials and like lessons like Code Academy so that people can follow along. That's one of the um, things we're going to be putting a lot of focus on. Cause, you know, there are a ton of kits out there, but I think what's really missing is like high quality instructions that really like help you build the project along the way. Yeah, that is cool. Um, so. And, and mind you, I know we just started speaking yesterday, but I, I linked a few of my reviews and everything, and a lot of the feedback I get from people, uh, because before I, I really got into building computer, and mind you, I've been building them since I was 13, uh, back with my old IBM XT that my mom got uh, when Bell South was doing some upgrades. They just gave it to her for 50 bucks. And that was my very first computer. I got that passion when I was 13 to build PCs. And back then, I had a lot of people in my family that knew about computers uh, because that was their job, but nobody had time to teach me. And, you know, that really bummed me out. So, you know, I just said, screw it. And I figured, you know, I'm going to learn it on my own. So I did. And I got really good at it. And it came to the point that they were asking me questions. The people that knew everything at least in my mind back then, they were asking me questions and I was more than happy and ecstatic actually to help them out. And building on that, I, I got other jobs that I had to train people how to use programs and how to use their computers. And then, so I started doing videos on Dragon Blogger, showing people from the ground up how to build a PC, how to upgrade their video card, how to upgrade their RAM. and. I thought I would get one or two hits, but I've, I've gotten thousands and people actually, after after they've gone through my videos, you know, they actually go there and stop back where they learned it from and just to tell me, hey, thanks, I couldn't have done this without you. I didn't even need the manual. And you know, that, that, that just makes me feel <laughs> so awesome. good. Yeah, it, it makes me feel great. We're really curious to see whether people just like the projects in general. Um, like the um, like the first kit is a Wi-Fi robot, but then the second kit is an LED cube. Then the third one is a robotic arm. Um, there is a uh, little piano synthesizer that has five keys. When you build it, you can play sound. That's cool. Um, you know, just different different types of uh, gadgets, just to give people the exposure to all that all the different types of hardware out there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that'd be great and. Um, so yeah, I'd love to, definitely, we could send you, um, a kit every month if you'd like. I mean, That'd the way awesome. I was looking at it is that if you're going to be doing unboxing videos and, and reviews and really taking the time that, you know, um, we're happy to just cover the subscription for you. And, you know, this way, you know, you don't have to worry about that, <laughs> yeah. about, um, uh, and it really depends, like, how often you'd want to build a project, too. Like, if you want to do one every month or once a quarter or every other month. I mean, it's really up to you. No, every month is great. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to let the kids kind of drive. And, you know, I'm not, I'm, I will want, I would 100% tell you, I'm not going to know everything on here. Um, so I, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be learning with them. But there may be points in time that, that I don't know that, and I'll be learning with them. And that'll be really cool. And uh, 
aside from that, one of the things that I, I aside from building stuff, which is awesome, I love the fact that you're going to be, uh, and from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, you're going to be teaching how to solder. Is that correct? Yeah, so the, the very first tutorial will have a large solder lesson. And then we'll also include, because there are a few other like soldering lessons online that are pretty good, we'll, we'll probably include those links in there just so that people have another resource to go to if, if, if they want to take it a step further. That's cool. But we're at, least, we're at least teaching you the minimum so that you can solder the project together. So that's one thing all of our projects have is um, they, they entail soldering and programming. So even when you're done building the Wi-Fi robot, we'll also teach you how to program it so that you can control it like a remote control car, basically. That's awesome. And so that's like that's something we'll probably get a lot of feedback on because we we've um, brainstormed so many ways we could teach that. So um, that would be great too, is if you wouldn't mind just giving us feedback. I know, um, like we're really open to it, and uh -oh. and um, like if if something doesn't work or if we could do something better, that's what we're we'd also be looking for. Oh, for sure. So one thing, yeah. and if you look through all my reviews, um, I don't think I've given anything under. And unfortunately, right now we're only at a five star rating, the highest rating. I don't think I've given anything under maybe either 3.0 or 3.5. I've thankfully mm -hmm. been lucky that I've gotten great products or at least halfway decent. Um, I have seen some of my other reviewers give lower uh, ratings. Uh, one thing about Dragon Blogger, and I can't 100% speak for everyone else because I, I, I can't think for them. Uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing. But um, I'm 100% brutally honest. Um, and mind you, I'm not going to say this is crap, this is horrible, what are these people thinking? I'm going to put it just the same way I want criticism. This is bad. I feel that they could have done it better this way. Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of the people that I've done reviews for, they've actually improved their products based on our feedback. Um, not only mine, but of course everyone else at Dragon Blogger. So we, we always try to be as honest as possible because if we're not, who's going to want to read our stuff if we're not honest? So, um, definitely. but yeah, I, I definitely will give you feedback. Uh, actually, one thing while we were talking that I thought of that maybe you'd want to use is your, uh, you, I think you mentioned about five different projects, but maybe around the 10th or something along those lines or maybe at the end of the year to, to finish off the yearly subscription, have a project that joins everything that you've made over the course of that year into one big awesome project instead of 12 separate yeah, projects. Definitely, I like that a lot. We um, sort of like a, uh, well, there, and there, there'll be some of that along the way too, like the robotic arm can hook on to the uh, first, very first project as well yeah um but yeah i agree like having something where all the the 12 projects have at least something in common and and can operate together and and that's just an idea it doesn't mean you have to go with it but um i think that might yeah, be kind of yeah, cool definitely. so i i see that you know it seems like you have a, a relatively large group when first off when did this start i see your first post was like december 4th 2015 on facebook yeah, uh, we <clears throat> so we had started working on this January of 2015. Okay, and then uh, we launched the Kickstarter in in December of 2015, and that was a 60 day campaign which ended in 20 yeah February of 2016, and uh, that was really when we kind of launched. We, we launched the crowdfunding campaign and we, we did about a little under $300,000 in pre-orders. Wow. From about 20, 20 countries. Like we, that was very unexpected for us. We were only planning on selling 300 units. So when our Kickstarter took off, we were like, holy crap, this is nuts. <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, so the last six months, what we've been doing is just making sure we can 
put all the systems in place so that we can deliver to that many countries. Uh, so we had to find a manufacturer, then we had to find a fulfillment vendor as well. Yeah. And then um, also needed to bring on some summer interns so they could help us. Um, you know, help us with product development, help us with a little bit of marketing. Cause, and that's really like when everything kind of just started turning into more like a business. Or you had to think about it. We had to think about it that way. It was like, okay, we have to make sure that... Um, we can deliver on not only the first kit, but also people who ordered a three, six, or 12-month subscription. And so that's really important to us, just to make sure that we don't, um, you know, go under and right. not be able to deliver on on products that people are expecting. So we gave ourselves six months. And actually, we said we would deliver in between June and July, but we... We decided to push that just a little further into the fall. So, like, our first kit goes out next month. Mm -hmm. And we did that just so that we can be sure that we won't delay on any of the future kids. Because I think that's more important is that if you get your first kid, then, you know, that's a month later, you should be getting your second, and a month after that, your third, and so forth. Right, right. You while you're working on your current project, you already have to be thinking two, three, four, f- five projects ahead. Because as you said, you got what over three hundred thousand orders. So you know, there's a lot of people interested, and this is this is only going to grow. As long as you guys put out a good product, it's only going to grow, and and that's awesome. You guys have been doing it for a little over a year, and you're already seeing such a success. And I, I congratulate you guys. That's that's amazing. Um, it's nuts, yeah. And I feel like the pressure, like the bar is definitely just set high because now, now we have to deliver on that. And I think customer service is going to be huge. Like a lot of people who reach out, like that's like that's one of my. I know it sounds weird, but that's like one of my passions is is just making sure that people are happy and have everything they need. And so a lot of people who have been emailing us, asking questions, you know, try to get back to them right away. But I think going forward, once people start getting their kids, it may even be more important because I'm sure people might um, might have a component that breaks or, or might just have a question about assembling their project then. Yeah, I mean... The uh, timeliness of, of responses is going to be huge. So for sure. That's something that I've been really thinking about. Uh, yeah, so... I think people can be pretty forgiving, especially that it's a Kickstarter campaign. I think... Some people understand that this is a first-time project for us, so there are going to be mistakes along the way. Um, and so we try to, to be really open about with communication and, and just keep people updated on everything. Yeah, customer service and communication, they're, if anything, more important than the product itself. If you have horrible customer service, you're going under quick. You know, if you have yeah. quick customer service, that's only going to help you improve because word of mouth is much more powerful, uh, well, maybe than the internet, but you know, much more powerful than so many things. Because if I'm happy with your product, I'm going to tell 20, 30 p- people, and then those 20, 30 people are going to tell 80, 90, 100 other people, and it's just going to boom from there. And but and that's and that's small growth. But if one person complains about something bad, that's going to go to 80 people. Those 80 people are going to boom out to 300 people per person. And, and you know, that's just, just not going to be good. Um, and as you said, some people are pretty forgiving. Some people are just stubborn. But, uh, yeah, so and definitely, and, and it's awesome to hear that you already have that customer focus, uh, customer service focus. Which again, you know, can make and break businesses, which is great. I agree. Yeah, because <laughs> not everybody has that. Right. But that's very but. cool. I've, I've, for the past few days, I've been looking at your site. I like the way you break it down, all simple or pretty simple at least. It's pretty cool. And then, again, as I mentioned, I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, of the call that I was going to be recording everything because I have a bad memory, but. Kind of the way that the interview is going, or, or should I say the phone call is going, might be something kind of cool for for us as Dragon Blogger to put out on YouTube and maybe for you guys to put out on your own site. Uh, would you agree to that? 
Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I was first yeah, going to... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. No, we're open to, like, partnerships, so we're, okay. we're happy to, um, you know, spread the word about you guys as well. Very cool. Thank you. I definitely appreciate that. But, um, so... I was originally thinking, and, and mind you, I'm still going to do this, but I was originally thinking of just keeping this recording so when I do the review, I can give the uh, a little bit of a background on the review on the review itself, but I'm thinking I could still do that, but I can also put this out there just for people that could be potentially interested. They can go to uh, thimble.io and check you guys out and either buy right out or wait for my review and they can see exactly what it's about. No, that's great. I, I don't mind that at all. Um, you know, like I said, we don't really have uh, anything to hide and we're just trying to get more people interested in, in hardware and building really cool stuff. Very cool. And and uh, going back to the contest part, I, I I went on the, on that link and I see you have a lot of big names there, or maybe not huge names, but you know, names from uh, large companies. So of course those large companies lend to their names. But Zach from Upverter, Sashi from Intel, uh, and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this one, Risharaj from AT and T. Um, yeah, Risharaj, he's good. <laughs> Yeah, and He's a good guy. Taylor from Autodesk and Adam from Hackster.io. You know, you got a lot of uh, big names, and those will be the people judging people on these contests. So that'll be kind of cool, and I assume this will be uh, these judges will be for um, for maybe if anything the more senior projects. But uh, very cool uh, that you have, and and if you don't mind me asking, how. First off, how did the, the, the whole uh, idea of the contest start? And then second, how did you get all these people and companies to, to agree to be part of the, uh, the panel of judges? Yeah, the contest came as an idea from just people we were meeting along the way. They, they just thought that uh, we should leave enough room in the in the project itself to add on to it. And and then that sort of then led to, okay, well, what if you have people creating all different types of projects out of the same one and then have some kind of voting system to see who's the most innovative or the coolest project and then give prizes. So that seemed like a, a good fit. How, you know, trying to figure out how that works is a different story, so we're going to be playing around with it. but. Right. The, um, the, a lot of the people who said they would be judges were just people we were meeting at different events, and we would just ask them if they'd be willing to be a judge. And, and most of the time, I don't think we had one person that said no. They, they said that that'd be great. That's very um, cool. Yeah, that's, uh, we're looking forward to that. And I, like one of the things we're trying to focus on is finding more women who could be judges, but that it's so hard to find. <laughs> yeah. um, but if you know any that um, wouldn't mind being a judge, that'd be great. You know what, I, 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 I do, um, I don't want to uh, put the, the names out of my previous employers, or of course, uh, <laughs> aside from Dragon Blogger, but um, I know a lot of people in the industry, I used to work uh, directly with, uh, I used to work for a very large boutique and uh, then another boutique, you know, PC manufacturer. So I've met a ton of people. And I'll see if maybe I can reach out. Um, you know, who knows? And I definitely do know some women in those areas. And actually, one that I'm thinking of right now, I think she would probably jump at the chance. So that'll be cool. And she and she's, Yeah, that'll be great. And she's awesome. So I'm sure you guys will love her. That sounds good, and feel free to you know, connect us by email or yeah, yeah definitely. we're uh, happy to do that. Very cool. So um, I don't know if if there's anything else. Definitely don't want to cut it short. I have I have time today. My wife and daughter are out right now, so 
the house is a lot more peaceful right now. Um, my son's <laughs> upstairs in, in, in our office, with the door closed, just playing on, on uh, Roblox right now. So uh, thankfully it's quiet. So I don't know if there was anything else you wanted to go over. No, I think this is good. And um, what I'll do is I'll send you some info in the meantime, just about the company. We don't have a lot, but um, just to give you a better sense of you know what, um, who's part of the team and what the other projects are going to be, and more of like where we come from and why we're doing this. That would be very cool. And um, yeah, this way, I think mean, if you, if you want, just have that background info for that, and that'd be great. And then I'll go ahead. All I need is your address so that I could ship you um, the project, which you would start getting next month. Yeah. And yeah, I think um, all you really need is a soldering iron. <laughs> That's so. And actually, that that was uh, uh, another question um, <laughs> because I and I kind of got off course. I'm uh, as I mentioned, I I uh, ramble on a lot. Um, so for the soldering part and like for all of the projects is everything that's required for the projects always included in the package uh yes minus the yeah so every project will always have everything you need to build the project itself minus the actual tools so you need a you would need a soldering iron you know basic screwdrivers okay um, wire cut but so that that other than be, that, you'll you'll always get the the the, the, the uh, development boards that come with the with the project. So okay. you'll be you'll be fine there. So that that might be something, and you know maybe not for the guys that spend ninety bucks that just want it that one month and they're done. But maybe for those people, and this is just throwing an idea out there. But maybe for those people that maybe get the uh, you know year subscription, sixty bucks a month. Maybe for those guys, as a bonus on the first shipment, you include mm -hmm. everything they need for maybe potentially for the uh, all the other requirements. And if something comes up that you didn't include on the first one, then you include it on that next one. But the ninety dollar one, they need all their own tools. But just an idea on my side. Definitely, yeah. If there's anything in particular that you need, just let me know. Um, we do offer a toolbox, which has like about 10 to 12 tools that you would need to build every project, but you don't need that. Like I know a lot of people that have bought already have a soldering iron, for example. So with people like that, I'll normally just tell them, okay, here are some other tools that might be helpful. And I can send you that list too, and if there's anything you're missing. Yeah, and, and actually I... I I looked on your site, but I I missed that. Oh, useful tools. I guess I missed that part because oh, I didn't continue on. Okay, I see the kid contents. Yeah, if if you wouldn't mind including that, because I can also put that in the review. You know what you'll get if you buy this. What is the uh, the uh, extra Uno board? So that so they're all reusable. So the Uno board already comes in the first kit. Oh, okay. Um, Yes, some people like to have an extra one handy just in case, uh, you know, it, something happens. But also, if um, you don't want to disassemble the first project, because technically, like, the second project won't include that board because you could use the previous board. Right. Um, so in that sense... Well, um, you can you can order an extra one so that you can use it when the second project arrives. Okay. So yeah, um, if anything for for this one, since you know I, the review is going to be of you guys, and hopefully I will bring some interest to your site. Hopefully, and I want to show people if you buy the toolkit, this is everything it brings. Um, you may or may not need it, but just to show you everything it brings. Then, of course, aside from the uh, the the kit itself, the unboxing of that. So um, that's up to you. I would love to get that as well, but uh, cool. Yeah, we we can throw that in there. That won't be a problem. Okay, cool. And so that that's going to be when if people order the the kit, the toolkit would come as a separate package. Yes. Yes. 
so that um so that would be uh, uh yeah that would come as its own package basically okay so and, yeah if you could please ship it like it was that separate package so that i can show people exactly how they're going to get it um definitely i just i want to make this as user friendly as possible so that everybody gets an idea of what they're going to get what they could potentially get and uh want to make sure that i represent you guys right cool yeah no that's really appreciated and yeah we'll make sure you have everything you need so that uh you know, it's really just, just the toolkit and then the Wi-Fi and the, the Wi-Fi robot kit and so forth. All right, great. Cool, Iggy. Well, thank you again. It was a pleasure chatting. And thank you for for the time, especially on a Sunday. Oh no, no problem. Thank you too. I I definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, I love the fact that right on your uh, Facebook site. I asked, hey, is anyone around? And it's a Sunday. I really didn't expect anybody, but I think within an hour, um, somebody got back to me, which is very cool. Um, you see if they said their name, you know, feels, I'm sure they would appreciate that. I know. Definitely, yeah, that was probably one of our interns, Evan, who reached out originally. Well, let Evan know yeah, I say thank guy. you. We'll do, I'll let him know. <laughs> but cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think that's awesome that even on a Sunday, maybe yeah. not something to be expected, uh, maybe not something to be expected, but that's pretty cool that on a Sunday, just on your Facebook site, someone got back to me. So that's pretty cool. Definitely. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we want to do. <laughs> Especially this early on, you know, it's uh, super important to just get back to everybody on a timely manner. Definitely. Well, all right, great. It's It's been awesome, Oscar. Thank you so much for also taking time out of your Sunday to talk to me, and uh, we'll definitely see where this goes. Definitely. Yeah, cool. And I'll reach out by email, and then, um, yeah, if you could send me your, your address, that would be great. That way I'll have you in our system. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll reach out with some stuff, so we'll be talking. Yep, sounds great. You have a great one, and thanks again. Alrighty. You too. Thank you. Thanks again. Have a good evening. Thank you. You too.